Hey everyone, welcome to The Depot. My name is Brad and today I'm back with another house building video. And obviously, as you can probably tell, I am back in Windenburg and I'm kind of doing something where I just sort of go around to different plots and then kind of just build a house specifically for it. And that's kind of what I've done with the mid nowhere plot. I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's quite a small one. So when I did build the house originally, I was gonna have like a pool at the front with a hot tub, which I did manage to achieve, but it's that and no sitting area or anything. So it does end up having like um, a main entertainment terrace on the first floor and then a private entertainment terrace for the master bedroom as well as a back garden for the whole house to enjoy, which is the bottom part, obviously, <laughs> which is actually accessed from one of the bedrooms and the lounge on the bottom floor. And then on the first floor, it's dedicated to the kitchen, living, dining room. It's literally the family area. And then obviously the top floor is dedicated entirely to the master bedroom featuring a walk-in wardrobe, which I didn't use the fitted wardrobes for. I kind of made like a two dressers and then shelves above one of them and then a window to the front so that's kind of like a fitted dressing room in a way and then an ensuite obviously so it's not necessarily too big of a house at all it's actually quite small if you well compared to like my last build anyway um but it's Honestly, I, I kind of prefer it in a way. I don't know why. It, it would be a good house for um, basically a, a two-child family, a two-sim family, I don't know, um, or a bachelor's house in some way because, oh, and if you wanted to make it a four-bedroom, I would like to say that you actually can. You could change the uh, downstairs lounge into a fourth bedroom or a second master suite if you wanted to because it is that big. And just FYI, when I do put in the cream accents for the house, instead of doing it like all a red brick, I do it on the, you'll see now. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, just like a cream, obviously. You can change that to a, like a black timber, like the way I did, I do a normal uh, panel in wood. You can change it to the black one. And it looks quite nice as well because, um, I don't know, but I personally chose the cream just to brighten it up a little bit in contrast to the red, but the black does look nice just in case that's more your theme because it gets brought in with a lot of other things as well. So yeah, that's basically it. And I just want to explain why I chose to do it as a townhouse as opposed to like just a normal two story or like a split level or something. I just thought that because it's such a small plot and it's in a nice position as well, it has got really nice view that I figured it would be best to um, build up as opposed to out or down. So yeah, that's kind of what I did. And because it's a thin plot, you know, it's only 20 by 20, it kind of worked out as well. And I know you're probably getting annoyed with me by using this staircase in this specific color, but I think it looks really nice and I don't know, really neutral. And it goes with modern architecture or well, the way I build modern houses, I guess. So I'll, I probably will use it a bit more, but maybe next time I'll switch it to a black stair or something. But I just figured because the colors in the kitchen and the living room and the master suite, and the hallway, it goes all the way up. So yeah, <laughs> that's kind of the reasoning as to why. Um, and I know that people are gonna be like, what the hell with my like features? My feature walls kind of aren't making sense in this room, but it does work out in the end when obviously all the furniture and all the finishings are in there. I think they're the, both, both the same thing. So I have no idea why I tried to differentiate that. And obviously repeating my, I don't know, I like to have a feature light above um, like a bar or a, a, I don't know, like a unit, and that's kind of what that is, because it's not a bar, but it's a wall that the dining table comes off of. I don't know, you'll see. Um, or you might have seen in the preview, you did see in the preview. I have no idea what I've done. Oh my god. Um, so I chose a fairly neutral tile in the kitchen, and then obviously just the white railway tiles, because um, I just thought that I didn't want anything too distracting, and I wanted this the kitchen just to be a simple, basic, you know, tucked away, not tucked away, because it is a feature of the room, but Obviously, it's not too big of a kitchen, so it's not too expensive. The house does come in, I think, at about, um, I want to say 95, but I'm pretty sure it's more like 105, 110. So I was going to make a little quick joke and be like, oh, so perfect for a family home, because it's not that big, but yeah, it's a nice family home. So <laughs> I guess it's, I don't know how you would call it, what you'd class it as. It's not a mansion by any means, but it's just a nice, large family home, I guess. That's what we'll call it. And once again, I'm using a lot of stuff from Dino because I really like all the stuff that came with the pack. Genuinely, I can't stop, like, I'm amazed by it. I'll be completely honest. It's old as well, so no one cares. So I've got to stop. And I've also realized that I've got a knack for using things that get unlocked at certain, after a certain level on in a career path or after doing a date or a social event to, like, 
the gold medal. So I'm kind of hoping that they do try and, like, when people download it off the gallery, those come across because <laughs> these wine bottles are exactly what I'm talking about. And if they go, there's going to be nothing there. And I'm going to be like, oh, okay, so people are going to hate my kitchen because it's so underdressed, if that's the case. And I also didn't realize that the drink thing I put here was like £1,500. Another example of how my, that looks nice, it can go there, is a bad idea when it comes to people wanting to download houses for a certain price. But it looks nice, so who cares? Um, so yeah, this is what I was on about when I said that the dining table came off the um, wall, half wall, kitchen thing. Yeah, it doesn't really do it as well as it would in real life because it is The Sims, unfortunately. Like I wanted a waterfall effect and it would have been nice if I could have used the same texture as the, well, surfaces in the kitchen, but I couldn't because no creator style, but I'm fine with it. As long as you introduce better swatches, please. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I wanted to create like a viewing lounge once again in this uh, build. And I think I achieved that in a sense, because this would be where you'd bring your, well, obviously it's the main living room, but you know, if you were having a, like a party or you were entertaining in any form, then yeah, I think this was where you'd be. And it's nice because this is what I meant by the main entertainment terrace outside being accessed off this room. So the central level really is all about entertaining. And then the ground and the top are like family even though this is the family room and there's no entertainment going on, but whatevs. And those mirrors are a bit chunky and a bit out of place, but I thought when I brought in the color of the uh, frame of the picture that it kind of brought the brown in and it made sense. So yeah, plus there's a brown in the kitchen worktop. So yeah, it kind, of, it kind of makes sense to me. I don't know if it does to you guys, but yeah. So obviously using the dine out um, like surface, table, bedside. I think it's, they class it as a bedside, but that's not a bedside unless you're like incredibly wealthy. Um, so I just use it as a TV base. And obviously moving on to the, mm, like what's it called? The terraces. Well, one of the terraces, the main one, which I decided to line both with, or floor both, I should say, with uh, like a wood paneling because I figured like, you know, having a deck up there would be better than a stone because, you know, it's more lightweight. It's, well, I don't know easier to run water through. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just using real life terms here. Who knows? Um, and then just a planter in the corner with some music to entertain. And then I figured this would be quite cute to have like an easel here. And I think I do put it in the final like video tour that like when I play tested it with the big Steen family, I think it is. Um, yeah, she was painting in there and it just looks really nice. And I figured you could do some nice pictures from, you know, paint from reference. <laughs> So that was my thought process there. So thank you for letting me explain and not bore you unless I did, then I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, moving on to the master bedroom, which I done kind of, it's a fairly neutral room. It's nothing too um, insane going on. It's, I kind of wanted it to, like, you know, when you go into a show house and you try and appeal to the widest demographic possible. And for example, in Britain, it's like, oh, let's go for a cream kitchen with a wood, uh, worktop because a lot of people might not be their favorite but a lot of people could live with that as a kitchen so that's kind of what I was going for with this even though I really like how it turned out but um yeah I figured it's a room that you could move into except for maybe the poster I put on the wall but I, I thought it made it look slightly younger and less serious overall but it kind of comes across as like a young professional's room so yeah <laughs> Let's just go with that. And sometimes the kittens like really do get on my nerves and I have massive trouble with the uh, kids room downstairs when it comes to the kitten. So yeah, but I think that's got more to do with the fact that I'm using like the low wall height, which as far as I'm concerned <laughs> is the height that most people's houses in the world are considering not everyone can afford high ceilings and all that, especially super high. But um, yeah. Oh, and um, I did like a little lighting thing down here and I didn't unfortunately bring it like down from the first to the ground floor as well. I just figured it would be nice to have from the uh, living room to the master suite as like a ascension kind of thing. And it worked out, so yeah. But feel free to like add it to the um, ground floor slash first floor staircase if you want to, but um, I changed. And I didn't put stools here, obviously. I just figured it would be nice to have like a, a private drinking area for the parents or the adults or the person who lives here on their own and has people over for entertainment. I don't know, you know, like this is the private part and that's why that's there. <laughs> so I think you can kind of see obviously that these two rooms off of it are obviously the ensuite. And for I kind of went 
well, not it didn't mimic the um, bedroom at all, but I went for like an orange and a black, a grey and a white in the uh, ensuite. And then for the dressing room, I just went with, like you see, as you can see, just black and white with, I think a hint of red, but only a very, very tiny part with a planted, a potted plant, I'm pretty sure. So yeah. And then putting in like dark brown ones, which I do change to a black. It's kind of hard to see sometimes because like, I don't know what it is, even though the spotlights create like the brightest, most white light. There's no like, um, like a yellow hue to it at all. I know you can change lighting colors, but you know, when you're building it's, you can't do that. You have to go into live mode and, or live mode or whatever you want to call it. I call it live. Um, yeah, so, and I just don't, I don't clutter the um, shelves up that much in this room because I couldn't really put anything on there that would be like um, found in a dressing room or a walk-in wardrobe or anything. It was just like, yeah, like men's healthcare, men's healthcare. Um, I say that and I put on oil here and like I put colognes in and stuff because I figured, and maybe some candles, just, you know, scenty stuff because I was like, it would be found in the bathroom, but I figured you... You know, I mean, I always get dressed and then put on my aftershave perfume, whatever you want to call it. I feel weird calling it aftershave because I don't put it on after I shave. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, but when you say perfume, people are like, that's what girls wear. And it's like, ugh, it's really not. But okay, whatever. Um, so, yeah, moving on to the already have moved on. I do this all the time, but I don't care. Um, the ensuite, obviously. And that, again, is a, a plant. I think you have to be in the... Uh, I don't know what career, I swear it's something that you wouldn't think, like the detective or something, uh, or something like that, and that's literally what you have to have, but it was orange and it looked perfect, so I went with that, and see, I cluttered it with things that you would find in a bathroom, so yes, and I'm doing this thing now where I like to make my bathrooms like a little bit more lived in, I don't know why, I just think it, I don't know, it looks more real, and I like it more, especially when I do like the um, in and out videos, to the video, to the actual video overall, haha. <laughs> so obviously I'm making the um, wall colors downstairs into the hallway and the floor into the downstairs living room. But the living room downstairs is a completely different color scheme to the one upstairs, just FYI, in case you were worried about me putting the same floor in. No, no, I just like that neutral washed floor. Well, it's not even washed, it's just a, a, a light wood. <laughs> but um, yeah. And down here, I did, wanted to do something by the door, but I couldn't really figure out what. So I decided to do like, almost like a little sign in, sign out. Like obviously not serious. It's meant to be cute and quirky. Like, ooh, sign the guest book. You know, some people do that. And I've never, I've never been anywhere that does it. So I thought I'd just recreate it in The Sims. And it looks nice. And it was kind of like the, one of the ways that you can use that um, end table. Cause it look, actually looks nice as well. Outside, if you put it by, um, like an outside dining area and put like a drink thing on top of it, which I did do in my last build, just FYI, I just didn't put it in the build video. So yeah, um, haha. So see, like I said, it's a different color scheme. I went for a red, a black, and I think that's that's literally all the colors that are in here. Um, and maybe like a dark gray if you count the coffee table. But um, yeah, that's basically the color scheme for here. Um, and it's not too much of a packed room at all. It is fairly neutral because it's the room I think you'd access the pool and hot tub off the most because the other one's a bedroom that wouldn't be yours and that's rude. Um, so yeah, just obviously my clutter items are getting quite repetitive. I am well aware, but this is kind of a study as well as a living room. So I didn't feel bad about putting a pen and books in here because it made sense to me. Um, and then obviously I didn't, I'm well aware those go in a bathroom better, but I thought they looked quite nice and they filled up that wall without making it, I don't know, it's because it's a modern room, I didn't want to overdress it too much, because obviously with modern builds, half of the genius behind it is the simplicity or whatever, however many buzz smart words I want to throw at you guys to confuse you. <laughs> um, sorry. So obviously just putting the coffee table in. And I do just wanna say that bookcase, I'm not sure if your Sims can use it. I didn't try, but I've raised it because it literally looked awful where it was placed where they could access the books. So yeah, you might have to put like a real one in if you want to read books, but um, there's one for decoration. And this is kind of like a utility room, but I figured that it might be quite annoying sometimes if your Sim is late, if your children, I should say, are late for school. Because, um, 
you might just not have like enough time for them to go upstairs, grab a cereal quickly and then wash it and then go back down the stairs in order to get to school on time. So I figured I'd have a utility room with a little mini fridge and like a little, um, what's it called? Microwave and a dishwasher to use it as a utility room, but also a mini kitchen for the downstairs bedrooms if they're tired or late or hungry in the middle of the night. So that's basically why this is here. But if you do change the living room into a fourth bedroom, you could use this as a ensuite and just move the door into the, um, basically there where the microwave would be. And then you could just put a bed, put another, well, a third bathroom in here. And that would kind of make sense. Um, even though there's one right here, <laughs> so wouldn't be too necessary, but some people would want to have their second master bedroom having an ensuite. So it makes sense to me. So obviously I'm really loving to use the, um, kind of wild designs with the parenthood shower in this build. I've used it twice and I've used the colorful ones just to bring a color to the bathroom. And I actually really like how it turned out and worked because obviously this is a thin bathroom, so I couldn't overdress it too much. So quite simple, but there's a splash of color and considering it acts, it's the bathroom for two kids rooms. I figured it would be nice to have it colorful or have some form of life in it, as, anyway. Um, so moving on to the child's bed, like the youngest one's bedroom, and this is like totally unisex, because orange is like, the, no color really has a gender, but um, I know some people can be quite, uh, I don't know what the word would be, like tight about it, so whatever floats your boat, it's orange. So if you need to be that person, like it's a boy's color, then it's a boy's room, but it's anyone's really. Um, and this is the only room that I actually used the fitted wardrobe in because I had that little outside space that I was going to use as a storage thing. But I was like, Sims don't, like, we haven't got enough packs yet to <laughs> fill out a build that needs, like, boot rooms and storage rooms and plant rooms. So, yeah. Um, so obviously just doing my typical, like, uh, throw up of graffiti on the walls when it comes to children's rooms. Because, like I said in a lot of my videos, they're just so much more fun to do. And they don't necessarily have to match so much, but I still like to play with colors. So obviously it's an orange and a green mostly, I think, with grays and blacks because the house is modern, like I've had to explain. <laughs> or I, I don't have to, but I just like to make sure that you guys get what I was going for. Um, and I think you do most of the time, so yeah. Um, obviously just like cluttering up the um, shelves with stuff that I figured a kid's nook, study nook would have. And obviously I've used them a lot for the build, but I don't know. I love these little um, ribbons as well. I'm not sure, because I've never won anything as a person, but like, I think blue's first, right? Blue's always a good one. I know someone has a blue ribbon, that means they came at least top three. Um, I hope, I could be wrong. Like I said, I've never won anything other than like a participation trophy. Um, so yeah, I'm doing my little flags above a wardrobe, which I kind of am starting to abuse. But yeah, so that's the child's room finished, which I hope you guys like, because I think it might possibly be my favorite. No, I gotta be honest, I think this one is just because I've never used a brown, because I never figured I'd be able to uh, incorporate like quite a dark brown as a young room, but I did. <laughs> and I think this is mainly due to the fact that City Living came with such good color options with, well, swatches for their, the items that came with that expansion pack. So, Thank you to EA, even though I think that one did too well. And it's honestly the one that I used. That's not true. Get to get those pillars and their staircases are so good as well. Oh my God. I swear they do that all the time. Like put three really, really good things in each one so that you have to buy it. But um, I digress, whatevs. And I know you might not like the neon signs, but they added a bit of color and I think they're a bit fun because this would be like a teenager's room, I guess. And I wanted it to be full of pictures because I've never done like an artsy teenager room. I've just done like a moody one or like a playful one. So this could be someone who's like really, really into photography or something. And then obviously add in the little plant hanger things there and a child's rug. But I figured it was in front of the mirror. So, you know, like it's like the dressing area of the room. So it's cute. And then the stuff from the movie pack which just adds more color to the room originally. But yeah, that honestly might be my favorite room just because of um, how simple it is, but also, I like colour, so. <laughs> Moving on to the outside area, well, not the main outside area, but like the one with the most activity, so like the hot tub and the pool. Um, so now lining the, well, just, I wanted to bring in a bit of greenery, so I put in the modern, um, like flower, not flower beds, just the modern green beds that I did actually use in my Cole House restaurant build as well outside, just to bring in greenery, which is funny because it's the same brick. Um, 
but yeah, uh, it's not. There's not too much going on. I've got to be completely honest. It really is because it's such a small area. It's literally only four squares wide. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, but I do just want to say that your Sims, when I play tested this, they get out the hot tub like. I thought they could only get out the side where the arrows were coming from, so I figured that's the way I placed it, but, um, they totally climb over the half wall and get in, so, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna move on, I think, now to just filling in some, I mean, I put little, the little wall thing I did for my last build video in the bathroom, I do that downstairs to lighten up the, um, doorway entrance, and then obviously adding some of the, I don't know what they call the industrial bars to decorate the front of the house. And then we're gonna move on to some landscaping and making some shrubbery to make it look more natural and like it's been here for a while, like I usually do, and I will be cutting it out for you guys because that sucks. So yeah, um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and maybe possibly subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, uh, the build will be on the gallery under my name, The Sim Depot. So once again, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, I do appreciate it. And yeah, so I shall see you guys next time with probably another build video before I get back to um, my legacy challenge. So thank you and goodbye.